no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net We're scared of change We're frightened by the idea that we could wake up tomorrow And things might be different We've tried to defeat the unpredictability of life in many ways. We created various religions so we could have our unchanging God and unchanging rules. And some religions went further by creating magic underwear and magic crackers and the such. But then still went down. So how do we explain that? Well, God got cranky. The dude who was tasked with keeping everything the same forever got bored or upset or looked the other way for just a second and I'll be damned if didn't go haywire. Well, let's pray harder this time and strap our magic clothing, our robes and crosses, yarmulkes and underwear on tighter this time. Maybe God flipped out because my codpiece left some wiggle room. And what about those written in stone, unchanging holy rules? Well, it turns out there's a lot of ways to just look at them a little differently. You know, you, you squint a little bit and God was all for your mega church's decision to hate gay people and buy the pastor a Mercedes. See, what happened was that, that in that passage that says written people can't get into heaven. God uh, hit the wrong button, uh, key on the heavenly typewriter. He hit an R instead of a B because he's got he's got big fingers. God's got big fingers, and he he, he meant to say people can't get into heaven because God hates mother. But but he 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 he's fine with the Mercedes. We also tried to fix this unpredictability problem in other ways, like suburbia. Just cut down the trees and the wild things and standardize the houses, the driveways, the basketball hoops, and the labradoodle poops. It will all be the same. Nothing will ever change. But of course, things do change. People lose jobs, cars crash, teenagers get arrested for drugs, billionaires and politicians piss all over your future with a big old grin on their faces. And no matter how well you cut your grass or, or weed your garden or wash your car, the chaos always seeps back in. So now your garden looks impeccable, but your daughter's knocked up. When I was little, I used to love fireflies, aka lightning bugs, aka bedazzle asses, aka the strippers of the insect world. We used to run around as kids chasing the fireflies at night, and then we'd catch a bunch and we'd put them in a jar so that we could keep the magic, the beauty, forever. The following morning, the magic was all dead at the bottom of the jar. Life is change. The only way to embrace it, ironically, is to let it run wild, to let it go. But if that's too unpredictable for you, I have a tranquilizer gun in the trunk of my car. We could shoot it, gut it, and deep fry it for the holidays. That's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. My award-winning live comedy album, Chaos for the Weary, is completely free to download for a limited time. Just go to LeeCamp.net to get that link. All I ask is that you tell other people about it. Tell them to check out the album. It's free and it has an intro by George Carlin's daughter Kelly Carlin. Also I will be performing live in New Orleans this week uh, at the end of this week plus Los Angeles next week and other places. Just go to leecamp.net slash schedule for those details. Thanks a lot. Keep fighting. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep. Swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.